folks have been asking for a more detailed view and tour of this KB2. So, what are some of the features? Bumper, skirt, almost all the stainless. These are miraculous. I have the other blinker light. Um, I don't know if you can tell. It's just a kind of rough. I put some of my secret sauce on this. I did a little cleanup uh, using linseed oil and mineral spirits, boiled linseed oil, and it really brought the luster out. See, that's the way it looked before. Um, under the hood, wiring seems to be complete. I need to hook this spring up for the hood latch. Of course, you got numbers. The oil, oil-based air filter. You can see everything's wired. The horn works. This is simply to test drive it and get it running. I haven't gotten underneath to see uh, what kind of condition the tank is in. So you can see really up close. Maybe you can see this. See this crusty stuff? That's all going to come off today. I'm going to power wash it and clean it up a little bit. I'll give you a comparison on the other side. This is significantly smoother. You can't really tell in the video. Um, fenders are pretty much intact. Some rust at the bottoms. Of course, wheels and tires. Um, roof lines all intact. I have not opened up the window. It, I think I gotta loosen up the cranks, but it doesn't appear that any of that is rotted. Uh, here's your Knox box. Rear fenders are really in excellent condition. Uh, the Knox box, not so much as you can see, the tailgate's a little bit rough, still repairable. I don't know if this is for a rear bumper or front bumper or some other vehicle, but I've had that. Uh, the other side, the other rear fender, really good, really good condition. Um, so when I get this all cleaned up, it'll look better, but here's the interior. What, watch this. Watch how smoothly this window works. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, the seat, it's not even ripped up or full of mice. The panel underneath here to go the battery is in place and not rotted out. You got the gas pedal, I've got to hook it up there. Clutch. Starter unit. All your levers. The heat unit. Then check out the gauges. Really clean gauges. Really clean knobs. The choke works beautifully. The I don't know what that gas one means. Um, the lights actually come on in the front. I haven't checked the back. I don't know about the panel lights. There's a switch up here. That seems to be for the wipers, but I'm not sure. That, I don't even know what it says, but it's for something. There it is. That's a knob, a dial. It's almost like a one, two, three. It could be heat fan. Oh yeah, I think it does say heat. Anyway, um, here's some downsides. This is pretty crusty and rusty right here. You can see it needs a little work. Floorboards are absolutely mint. I mean the running boards. Mint both sides. Gas caps in place. We miss, we're miss. we missing the handles. I have an extra one to put in here. I just got to remember the magic of taking this old one out and putting the new one in. Original mirror. Original mirror up there. So, when I picked it up from the lady that had it, her husband's dream was he wanted it to run. I'm waiting for my 6 volt charger to come in. You can see all the wiring in here. Somebody paid attention to it. Throttle cable works. Clutch works. Or at least you can feel it work. Um, the engine turns over. And <coughs> overall, 
I'm really pleased with it. I just filled up the radiator. While it looks crusty, there's no leaks, no nothing. So that's a general tour. Today I'll do some more cleaning on it and shine it up with my oils. You can see it looks a lot better this way. Oh yeah, it has the wiper motors and wiper arms. I may take the wiper arms from my International. You might see it back there, my KB2. And of course, I've got the panel truck. Somebody is going to want that one ton panel truck. Anyway, there you go. So this was originally on Martha's Vineyard. Actually, Edgar Town. It was used for the American Cafe to do deliveries. I've got conflicting information on whether it's a 48 or 49. You can see Edgar Town there. I don't know if you can make it out. And of course, you know the back says serving new restaurants since 1949. So there you go. That's the tour.